Hey everyone, and thank you so much for checking out my business snapshot resource. Uh, this is part of the real business project um, bundle slash project resource that I've been putting together. The full resource of the real business project is something that takes students from coming up with an idea to running a profitable business in about like five to six weeks. So somewhere between one and two months. Um, I run it in my classroom, in my personal finance class, and we'll spend about two to three weeks intensely working on it. And then another two to three weeks where it's kind of in the background. I, we reference it, we check in a little bit. And then, you know, at the end of it, we have a business fair. This resource is the business snapshot. So the snapshot is instead of doing a business plan, which there is definitely a place for a business plan. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but when you are starting a simple business that has no debt and you just want to get started fast and cheap, a snapshot actually does a much better job than a business plan does. Um, all you're doing is you're taking your idea and you are fleshing it out. You're developing the different key aspects of it that maybe you haven't thought of yet. So the snapshot has 10 different fields that the, each business is going to have to fill out. You can have business owners do this individually. So I typically will have my students come up with ideas. They'll pick one that they want to move forward with, and then they'll fill out a snapshot on their own. And the next step would be to come together as a team, and then they can redevelop it with their team members if they want, or they can choose to work on someone else's business. It doesn't matter, but they've all gone through the process of doing this themselves. The snapshot itself, you've got 10 boxes. I usually start with the business synopsis in the middle. So this is just your elevator pitch. You're telling someone who knows nothing about your business what it does. So the kind of the who, what, where, when, why, and how. Um, you want to make it as clear as possible and as you know short and sweet as possible as well. And then the other boxes are all just key parts that you would think about. So partnerships, who are you going to work with, key tasks, what's your to-do list for getting started, equipment, materials, self-explanatory. Uh, reputation, what do you want people to think of when they think of your business? So when they hear or see like an ad or your logo, what do you want them to see, think, feel? Uh, advertising, how are you going to let people know? Target market, who do you think you're going to focus on? Sales and delivery, when does the sale take place? Um, how are you accepting payment? How do you get the product or service to the person? And then expected costs and anticipated pricing. So we got an explanation of what each one is. So this is the worksheet that the students would get. So they would have the blank one. Backside would have an explanation of what goes into each box. So you can certainly just hand this to students and say, hey, off you go. Um, I typically like taking them through an example. So the example I'm giving you with this resource is for a baking company. So that's making cookies, brownies, you know, your standard um, teen baking company and just what this would look like. So the fictitious company is called Sweet Treats and you would go through what each box would look like. You can always just pick one random business idea and as a class, go through it together and then let them do their own business ideas individually. It's totally up to you, but I'm trying to give you as much as possible um, to help you in this process. Um, included in this resource, you will also have teacher instructions. So that'll give you a bit more um, insight as to how I use this resource in my classroom and how I recommend you do that. Um, I've also included a bunch of prompts and questions that you can throw out to your class or to individual business owners as you're going around, just to make sure they're thinking about all the things that they need to. What we want to avoid is as the teacher or the expert um, in quotation marks in the room, we don't want to tell students that their idea will work or not work. We want to ask lots of questions so that's going to make them consider will it actually work or not? So you want them to come to that conclusion versus you telling them what to do and how to do it. The whole point is to foster their creativity, get them solving problems and recognizing that they can create their own income when they want to. Thanks so much for checking it out. If you have any questions, please send them to me at thefiveeducator.gmail.com. And if you like this resource, but you want the full business project, make sure you look out for the real business project on my TPT store. Thanks so much.